Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, it is Sunday afternoon and I thought it was time to do a video on my week that was, what I've been up to this week, and share it with you. So, let's get started. Thursday this week being the last week of my holidays and I have to doing a lot of work around home the first three days of the week. Thing and I decided to have a day out up on the tablelands and we went to Melanda because Thursday is the day my little craft shop ladies open up there and we thought we'd have lunch and have a pleasant day out. We took Saxon with us, our new little dog, for the day. I'm not sure that wasn't a mistake. He's a puppy and full of life, just like having a little toddler along. It was exhausting. <laughs> anyway, I went to the craft shop and checked out some of her yarn supplies. I don't go up there that often, so her yarn changes over quite a bit. She does have a big area, but mainly a lot of fabric and to do with sewing, but she does have a decent amount of yarn for me to look at. And yes, I bought yarn. Ta -da! I spent about $100 with her, but I can only show you one brand of yarn. The rest are for gifts. I'm sharing it with you because I'd never seen it before. So this is Panda magnum soft eight ply or three weight australian young company yarn made in victoria it is beautiful and soft i bought two balls in this color green they don't have names just color numbers um it's 100 percent acrylic and it has i'm going to need glasses Dun -dun -dun. 189 meters in a ball now I bought that she had two balls of green, one ball of blue, and I didn't really like the blue, so I bought the last two green because it is so nice. But I had never seen this before. So to those Aussie subscribers, let me know if you've seen this before or if you've used it. Um, is this new out or is it an old yarn I've just missed? But, yeah, that was my two balls for me. The rest is for gifts. And people who watch this channel, I can't share them with you because, yeah, I don't want them to see them on the video before they get the gift. We um, were going to go to Melanda Falls Cafe for lunch, um, but the cafe was closed. I did take a photo of the Melanda Falls because it was a beautiful day. This is a falls that has been developed into a swimming area, a natural swimming area. You can swim there. And we also took a photo of a tree kangaroo we spotted. He's very high up. You will only see a dark shadow, but I will put photos of him at the end. And because the cafe was shut, we decided we would go on to Yungaburra, which is a lovely town, um, a lot of history in Yungaburra. And it's only seven kilometers away. And there is a lovely place to have lunch there, which we did because they have a set area aside for you and your dog. So we could sit with Saxon and still have a beautiful fresco lunch. The reason I chose Younger Bar, there's a secondhand bookshop that has been there forever, run by an old couple who are absolutely lovely. Um, they sell a few antiques. And I got talking to the lady because she had bought some tea cozies of someone further south to sell in her shop and she was showing me um, unfortunately I think she paid way too much for those tea cozies I would have um, sold them to her for a lot cheaper than what she paid we went there mainly looking for this book that Reeves is chasing but they didn't have it but she took my number and said I'll let you know if we get anything in from that author I had a look at her knitting and crochet books and lo and behold, I found a book and I bought it. Of course, it's Tea Cozies number four. Um, this book it cost me $15. At the time, I thought it was a little exy um, for what it was, but when I got back and checked it, brand new, it sells for $28 or $29. So that's not bad. One of the things in it has had me curious for a while because I have seen something before. It is the Black Poppy Tea Cozy. Now, I've never, it's glaring a bit, I've never heard of the Black Poppy 
and I'm wondering if anyone out there has and if they know what the meaning of the black poppy is. I guess I could Google it and find out, but I'm curious if I'm the only one that's ever heard of it. I'm not sure I like the actual design around, but I do like the base that they've made. That is quite interesting. There are lots of great patterns in here that no doubt um, I may have a go at. But that's another book to my Tea Cozy book collection. Yes, I love Tea Cozies. Um, and I think if I go back there, because I don't go that often, I may make a few Tea Cozies and just give them to sell, for her to sell in the shop and keep the money to keep the shop going. It has been going for years. Even when both the boys were little, it was there. So that was our lovely day out. It was beautiful day but Saxon was exhausting on a road trip <laughs> that's a puppy for you <laughs> cows I have been catching up on the cows that I am I'm in and my first one to show you off the ranks is I'm doing Zeta's Place calendar cow of course I've said before it's cows this year and I don't always find a cow pattern that I like but I've had this one on my Ravelry library for a while and thought I would give it a go for September. It is the Lattice One Scale, One Skein Cow by Lil Naylor, this one. I'll put a link in the description below because it is a free pattern if you want to try it. Now with the picture for September that Zeta showed, this time I decided I wouldn't try and do all the colours. I would pick out the colours that really um, made me feel like I wanted to make something in it. And of course, my favourite colours, orange. So I picked out all the oranges. And here is my lattice cow. Now, the rib banding is made in the birch yarn. I bought at Emu Park because this is when I decided, when I was on holidays, what I would do for the cow. This colour and this colour, the variegated, is in this yarn I bought in Yapoon that I've never heard of before. I've shown you before, but I don't know, maybe the Aussie girls have heard of it. It's Porter Craft 100% acrylic, and that was, it was in those colours. So Porter Craft, if you've heard of Porter Craft before or used it, let me know. It knitted really well it didn't split and you need to be probably an advanced beginner it looks harder than it is truly it is a beautiful cow I like it because it's the ideal size it's not huge and floppy I like them this size and you can make it bigger if you wish and you can make it wider but yeah this is ideal I made it a little bit wider than it was to balance out my colours. But that is my September entry for the calendar cow with Zeta, just for fun. So my next one is I am doing the Luck of the Draw Cow with um, Nan's Neck Stocks. Luck of the Draw number four, my second time at doing a Luck of the Draw Cow. And um, I had three weeks to catch up on and this week was week number four and I have done it and there it is that is my blanket I am knitting for the luck of the draw number four now we've had repeat colors so I probably do about I need to do about eight rows to get four rows of pattern and that was where it started and that's where it finished and as you can see Number seven came out, which was Laguna for me. And this week, number seven came out, Laguna again. There are some colours we haven't had yet, but I don't mind the way it's going. It probably won't be big enough for me at the end of the 20 weeks. And I have written down each week what colour comes out on my um, whip card so that I can keep repeating to get it to the size I want. But this is a beautiful pattern. And I am enjoying Nan's Next Knot's Luck of the uh, Ford Cow. I'll put a link to it. Truly, it's not too late to start. It is so easy. The other thing is I am running a make-along, the birthstone make-along, and September is sapphire. And if you're doing the make-along, you could use any colour blue for sapphire for the month of September. And I finally did mine for my V-stitch blanket. I picked the darker blue 
and I did eight rows in the darker blue. There are light blues, pale blues. We haven't had many photos pasted, uh, posted in the Make Along group page, so make sure you post your photos so I can see how your project is going. It would be great to see them or post them on Instagram with the hashtag birthstonemalmalau so I know it's you. But that's mine. I'm catching up. So what else have I done? Well, I'm running a mini make along for September called Scrap Se Scrap Timber AU. I've had five entries sent to me and I have posted them in the make along group. First one in, touch my heart, it was a tea cozy. We've had dolls clothes. Um, Karen Wright sent some baby face washes, quite a few that she's made. There have been different things coming in, but only five entries so far. So it's not too late to join. The basic is you use scrap yarn 140 metres to 150 yards or 150 yards. Someone asked me what does that in weight. So I worked out between 75 and 80 grams, depending on whether you're using a three weight or a four weight. Everyone knows I'm fairly flexible and as long as it is a reasonable little project, I'm not going to ask you to measure out the yarn and you can use any colour. You just need to send me a photo of the scrap yarn before you use it and your photo of your finished project. Give me permission to paste, post it on the Make Along group or Instagram. If not, that's fine. You can say, no, I'd rather you keep it to yourself or you can post it. But remember to use the hashtag scrap, scrap a you. There are some prizes at the end for the draw. Um, I'm hoping we get a few more entries in before the end of the month. And it's not that hard to make a little project. Dolls clothes, um, face washes, three or four coasters, tea cozies. I was thinking little amigurumis like octos, anything like that. Come up with a creative idea for Scrap Timber. I will leave a link to the video for that up above you can click on that and check out all the rules and regulations it is open worldwide it would be great to have you join i have made a little project for scrap timber here is mine a tea cozy this yarn is scrap yarn i had left over that i bought in england a few years ago from poundland it's right round like that the orange is some scrap yarn um, stallion yarn a spotlight yarn and I put a little flowered top on my tea cozy like that. It's ribbed, it's knitted. That's crochet the flower. And yes, that is my scrap timber project. A little tea cozy in my favorite colors, orange. So for the big finish, my finished object, I have worked on for a few months. It is my design. Um, I don't think I'll do a pattern for it. I won't share it. It was just something I wanted to do. I've had this mug for a while. It is Billy Tea, the traditional Billy Tea mug, Australian original. It's a metal mug you're supposed to take camping, but I don't. And it inspired me to make a um, tea cosy, an Australiana type tea cosy. Now, with Reeves's help, he grafted it all out for me, and I have made a Billy T tea, tea Cozy with his tea tag. There you have it. Billy T, both sides in the colours. But that is my um, Australia yarn inspiration, and I'm really quite proud of it. It does look better um, in, what would you say, not on camera. It looks better in its original form. I can see it. And I, I think it's turned out really well. And I'm really grateful that um, Reeves can graph that all out for me so that I know what stitch count to use and get it to work. The little tag was my idea. I probably made it a little long. could probably make it shorter to go up there. But yes, my original design, Billy T, inspired by the famous Billy T mug. You used to be able to buy the tea, 
but I haven't seen it for many, many years. If I can find a recipe on how you make Billy tea, which is a tea you make when you go camping, the old stockman used to make it, some people still do, I'll put a link in the description below to the recipe. Um, it's very different to normal tea, what you have at home. But yes, my proudest moment for this month is my Billy Tea Tea Cozy. So guys, that's it. That's it for the week. I've been quite busy, but tomorrow I'm back at work. And no doubt the first week back will be quite full on. I'll do a lot of catching up. But I've had a restful break and I am looking forward to going back to work. So I do like my job and I do enjoy it. So until next time, remember, stay well, take care. Life is an adventure and you could join me in my Scrap Timber yarn adventure by making a little project for Scrap Timber. Until next time, bye for now.